yesterday we uh, discussed briefly about uh, about ls coupling and jj coupling ls coupling and jj coupling okay and we already know that ls coupling occurs in those atoms for which uh, for lighter z lighter z generally less than 40 in these atoms what happens actually in these atoms uh, so we already know that in these lighter atoms since the size of the atoms is small and the electron electron mutual interaction the electron electron mutual interaction which is a non spherical actually electrostatic interaction non spherical electrostatic interaction is also called the residual interaction and the spin spin correlation effects that means when two electrons are near their spin interactions become important spin spin correlation effect these are the largest of their magnitude as compared to those other interactions which are there present then those other interactions like we have spin orbit magnetic interactions and is smaller as considerably smaller as compared to the rest and the other terms are negligible what we do in these atoms such atoms where this happens this case is uh, there is such case the they are governed by or they are examined or understood or studied considering the coupling between l orbital angular momentum and the spin angular momentum individually individually means that i have already given an example that if you have two electrons for example you are you have electrons with l equal to p and sorry i will not write it like this let it be 2 and l2 be equal to 3 that means this corresponds to p and this corresponds to d orbital then if it is a single electron so s is equal to 1 by 2 and s is equal to 1 by 2 for this case then what you will do you will find j total orbital angle total angular momentum that is l plus s and this is l1 plus l2 first l is l1 plus l2 to l1 minus l2 and s will be s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 these are different how we take the possibilities so we have to calculate the possibilities of the uh, configuration that means in which state in which uh, quantum state and electron can be we are not sure about that what it be but there is a possibility that any of these states can be possible so that is what we will actually calculate so these are governed by the ls coupling and then we have another case okay uh, we will start uh, by taking an example like i will give you the ls coupling we will do it in detail when we consider more examples ls coupling we will do more examples on this actually this ls coupling is it is also known as russell sanders coupling Russell Sanders coupling. Double here. And Russell Sanders, they were two physicists, but they were actually astronomers. They were astronomers. And why it is on the name of the astronomers actually, they studied this LS coupling and they proposed this LS coupling in atomic spectra, spectra of the atoms of which atoms which this was a spectra of the atoms which atoms were responsible for formation of stars emitted by stars so some stars give us an spectra or then some 
source of energy and those energies were studied energy levels or the transitions of those spectral lines were studied by russell sanders and then they came up with the phenomena this physical phenomena that is called lscop So there are different perturbations actually in these case of atoms. Like I already told you, there's a residual electrostatic interaction. There's a spin orbit interaction, okay? And due to spin, spin interaction or correlation, spin, spin interaction or correlation effect, The individual spin angular momentum, the individual spin angular momentum vector of the optical electrons. We already know what optical electrons we mean, what we mean by optical electrons. Of optical electrons are strongly coupled with one another to form the resultant. Angular momentum, vector S, vector S which is equal to S into S plus one H curve. And it means that the quantum number S can take values. This is important. S, that is quantum number S can take values. This can take values like S is equal to mod of, we're taking the modulus magnitude, remember that. S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus it is minimum value S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus plus one but S this is minimum what minimum means that it is the only value minimum value we can have then up to S1 plus S2 plus S3. Okay, so we can write it in another terms in the simplest way I can tell you that and the above example I told you that if we have two electrons like S1 is half, we already know that S2 is half. So we can have possibility com possible combinations of spin it can have two electrons for two electrons remember that we are treating two electrons s will be s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 so it is one and zero these are the two possible combinations which can be there one and zero so the number of energy levels or the transitions in this case will be 2s plus one that is two so it means it is a doublet level. So we have a two lines between these two different spin states, spin up, spin down, there's transitions from these two electrons. The, it is important to note that there is a, a general rule, important rule, that is the states those states with different value of s spin quantum number have considerable energy difference that means if there is a s equal to one s equal to zero these are the two different states we have from the com combination of two electrons s is equal to one and s equal to zero and there's a separation between s equal to one and s equal to zero 
this gives us 2s plus 1 minus that is 3 that is 2 sorry and this gives us one line this gives us one line so these are the just like two lines here and there's a single line here so there are in total three transitions three lines total and when there are three lines there's a separation between these two lines actually due to spin spin interaction due to spin spin interaction that means an unperturbed energy level which is unperturbed which is already unperturbed but now there is a spin spin interaction and there is an unperturbed energy level of the central field model remember that we are in the central field central field model it is splitted into a number of well separated there is a separation levels and with these number of levels these number of levels in which an unperturbed, unperturbed already energy level is separated the number is equal to the different values of s total spin we are talking of total spin of two electrons we are not talking about it individual spin now because when we have to draw an energy level diagram in an atomic spectra we will calculate the total spin s now we know that if we have s equal to one by two we have a single electron for example this is a far case of single electron one electron we have s equal to 1 by 2. Now the total the possibility is 2 that is ms we have 2 either there is a possibility of two levels either it can go into plus half spin and minus half spin that is what the multiplicity will give you how many possible uh, positions of the electron can be are possible quantum states of an electron can be in the external this in the perturbation in that spin spin interaction so that is a doublet that means when we treat that magnetic field is applying on an electron on an atom with one electron then because of that magnetic field that electron uh, can have two possibilities of the energy levels one in the upward direction, one in the downward direction. So we can have two, it's just like this. So how we designate these energy levels that we will discuss separately. But this is just for the case of the multiplicity. What multiplicity determines actually? It determines the possibilities, possible configuration of the energy levels, or possible outcomes, or the possible uh, states it's not just that these exist all at once. So we can say that it can be any of these two states. So for two electrons, S1 is equal to half, S2 is equal to half. Now how we calculate total S? S is mod of S1 minus S2. and so the s will be s1 minus s2 comma s1 minus s2 plus 1 up to s1 plus s2 so what does this mean so here just wait a minute this is s1 minus s2 This is all like this. Minimum means it is minus. When I have minimum, so it is plus here. But when I write minimum, so it is minus. Now, so S1 minus S2, S1 minus S2 plus 1 up to S1 minus S2. So the possibilities are that it is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then 0 plus 2 is 2. But that is not the possibility actually because we cannot have the combination S1 plus S2 is never 2 in our case 
the maximum value for an S we have is S1 plus S2 is one. So that is this. So we cannot go beyond this one. That is why we are not taking these terms actually here. Okay. So the minimum value we have, that is one, zero. And the maximum value we have, that is one. That is also here. Okay, S1 plus S2. So therefore, the total multiplicity or the possible transitions in this case will be one and three. And this one is called as singlet state. This is called as triplet state. Triplet levels are singlet levels. Similarly, if you take three electrons, S1 equal to half, S2 equal to one by two, S3 equal to one by two, for example, if we are three electrons. The rule here is that we have to now combine three spins. So how to combine them? We have to take the possibilities, combination, combine, combination possibilities. So the rule is that how we do it, we first do let S dash be equal to S1 plus S2. And to S1 minus S2 or S1 minus S2. S1 plus S2. Okay, so that is again one and it is zero and one. So this is S dash. To get the resultant of the three spins, each of them, we couple S dash plus S3. S dash plus S3. That means S dash plus S3 and S dash minus S3. Yes, like we have done in S1 plus S2, S1 minus S2. It becomes then S dash, S dash is one plus one by two and zero plus one by two. Because S dash has two values. One is zero, one is one. And the total possibilities are when we couple this S dash to S3 here. So we can plus S3 to S dash minus S3. That is one plus one by two. And we have zero here plus one by two because S3 is one by two. So it is one by two, three by two. There's again, if you have, so we get S equal to, wait, we get S equal to S dash, sorry. Uh, one is the possibilities of S dash and then S3. So S dash plus S3, that is there are two possibilities. That is one by two and three by two. We have also S3, that is also one by two. So we have two sets of doublets and one set of triplet. How you will find that? We, these are the possible combinations. So just see this, how we have done this. First, I have taken S dash equal to S1 plus S2. And I have S3 here. Then I have taken the interaction between this and this. Now 2s plus 1 when s is 1 by 2. <coughs> it is 2. When s is 3 by 2, it gives 2s plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4, sorry. It is not triplet here, it is quartet. Here. Quartet. One set of quartet. That means four lines are there, four transitions will be there between from three by two, one by two, then to ground three by two, one by two. So in this case, you can write then, when we have one electron or S, we will have a one in a line, two transitions from two MS values. So that will give us a doublet. Or two electrons, this is one electron, 
two electrons s will be equal to zero and s will be equal to one so this will be a singlet state this will be a triplet state <coughs> For three electrons, we have S equal to one by two. That will give us a doublet. We have S equal to again one by two. That will again give us a doublet. We have S equal to three by two. This will give us quartet. Now, for four electrons, this is again s equal to one by two has two s equal to because four electrons we will add now another electron to this this one by two so this will give us s equal to zero because we are adding one by two to one by two and one by two minus one by two so that is zero and one zero and one so this is singlet and this is triplet adding one electron more to this this is again singlet you are just increasing the one electron more singlet and there is one that is triplet you are adding one electron three by two so what it will give us three by two plus that is add one electron so it will give us s equal to one again and that is triplet to it is called quintet. That quintet means that S will be equal, total S will be equal to two for four electrons. For four electrons, the maximum value of S is two. So that is called as, then total S will be equal to two. And we have this, this is called In case of n electrons, we have s will be equal to 0, 1, 2, up to n by 2, where n is an even number. Remember that. n is even. And n is even. These are the possible combinations. Possible values of total s. And s will be equal to 1 by 2. 3 by 2, 5 by 2, when we have all number of electrons. This is when we have n is even number of electrons. We have integral multiple of spill. When we have odd number of electrons, we have half integral multiple. Now, which state has the highest energy and which state has the highest energy? That is important. <laughs> So whenever you arrange the energy levels according to this S total S, that means whether S equal to zero will be the higher energy or whether S will be three or two of uh, this higher energy or one, sorry, that is a singlet state or a triplet state will be of higher energy or which one of them will be a higher energy. The rule is that the largest state of S is of lowest energy this is the rule so if you have a largest s that will be lower in energy s is equal to one s is equal to zero for example so this is a triplet state here i know that this is a singlet state here so this s will be of lower energy the zero will be of higher energy and if you want to understand this you can understand it by that how is it possible let us consider the case of two electrons for the case of two electrons the spin correlation effect when we have two electrons for example one electron is this one electron is this just an example i am giving an example these two electrons are there in this case in the case of these two electrons in the case of two electrons since there are always exclusion principle is there 
spin spin effect is there spin spin correlation effect what it does if we have two electrons at this level that the state of largest s is of the lowest energy and we can understand it by considering two electrons we consider two electrons and since two electrons they possess spin magnetic moment the spin correlation effect that is spin spin interaction that splits the unperturbed levels that means already this is a level and there in this case here there is no spin spin interaction but when the spin spin interaction comes into existence it can be splitted into two new levels singlet level and a triplet level and because of the total this since the you know that the, the total wave function or the eigen function should be anti symmetric with respect to the exchange of the electrons sir aawaaz nahi aa rahi hai okay break aa rahi hai ke bilkul nahi aa rahi hai sir ab aa rahi hai okay so when we have two electrons in a level which is unperturbed then after perturbation or the spin spin interaction with this then case this can be split it into s equal to 0 and s equal to 1 this is a triplet state and this is a singlet state the two electrons in this case the distance between the two electrons in the is in the case of triplet state triplet means that parallel because we are combining s equal to s1 plus s2 so s1 plus s2 means that they are in the same direction that is one so that becomes triplet state and this separation between two states is larger the separation between two states in the triplet state that means when the two spins are in the same direction when the s total s is equal to 1 it is larger as compared to when we have s equal to 0 this is the case because these are parallel spins so due to pauli's exclusion principle they will be far away from each other they will be moved away from each other because of that pauli's exclusion principle and the total wave function to be anti symmetric for total wave function to be anti symmetric one has to be spin up and one has to be spin down so in that sense it will move away from each other to maintain that wave function anti symmetric eigen function and that is why that interaction energy between these two spins is very less as compared to these two that is what we mean by for largest s it is of lowest energy there is lowest interaction energy between the two for lowest s energy is very high so they are closely spaced to each other they are close to each other they are of opposite spins and the interaction between these two spins is very large that is what we mean by that this highest s low energy lowest energy that means when s is large energy will be in the lower value lower than when s is small it will go up to higher energies this was the case of spin when we have a spin moment of the electrons how we add the spins of different electrons same result is applied to actually the orbit orbital magnetic moment and that is an electrostatic interaction between the electrons the orbital angular momentum vector of optical electrons are those electrons which can take part in the transitions are strongly coupled to one another and we know that l is ashka this is just like l actually right this l is the orbital quantum number l magnitude this is the magnitude l then this l can take values if we have two different electrons of different value of l then l can be l1 l2 l3 plus dash dash 
this is minimum minimum means we are subtracting actually now minimum plus one same as we have done with the spin For example, in case of this 3p 3d electron, so that means we have an orbital angular moment of one electron, orbital moment of another electron. They interact with each other. So, what will be the resultant? And in this case, each level is separated by the spin spin correlation effect that is further separated by the residual electrostatic interaction electrostatic interaction is between the that that negative charge negative charge interaction charge based interaction one is spin based one is charge based these, these are two different types of interactions in the case of electron <clears throat> electron electron interaction and we can have different values of l when they split they can be split into different values of L as we have different values of S. For example, in case of 3P 3D electron, that means for 3P N is same, L is different. So L, these are non-equivalent electrons. Uh, have been there L same as well, it will, uh, these will be equivalent electrons then. L2 equal to two. So it gives us L is equal to L1 minus L2 to L1 plus L2. So what is L1 minus L2? That is, it is mod actually. So it is one, two, three. Okay. So we can have one, two, three. Okay. But remember that there is a that another definition which is called term, spectral term which we already defined yesterday. When you calculate the resultant L, then these are labeled as terms, these total L. It is a final state of the atom actually. So spectral term represents actually the final state of the atom. For example, if this resultant L is one, this will be S state. P, sorry, not S, it is P. When this is two, it is D state. When this is three, it is F state. Don't confuse with this P, E and F. Don't confuse with this. This is for an individual electron. This is for the total whole atom. So in this case, we have three states, three possible values of L, 3P, 3D electron. And similarly, if we have 2P, 3P, 4D electron, for example, excited state in some excited state whatever it is we are not concerned whether it is in the excited state or whether we are distributing the electron in the ground states so we can because a state is possible we are not violating any laws related to the atomic spectra or atomic con electronic configuration so l1 is equal to one l2 is equal to um, one again and l3 is equal to So how we added those three electrons in the case of spin we took first l dash that is two and that is one sorry zero not one so it goes from l1 minus l2 through zero that actually to l1 plus l2 so this gives value of L dash zero, one, two. Is it okay? So we can have these three possible configurations or three possible values of, these are actually ML values. We can talk a little. Then what will be L? It will be L dash plus minus so L3 this L3. So when L dash is zero, 
L will be equal to what is L three? L three is two. Two plus zero is two. So this is the D speed of an atom. When we have L dash equal to one, L will be equal to one plus two is one plus one is when L dash is equal to one. L3 will be equal to 2. Yes, L3 is 2. Then L has the possibilities now. Here C again. Again, we have to take the possibilities here. And these are those are taken by L dash minus L to L dash plus L. L3. Like we have done in the case of L1, L2. Same will be have done here. So L dash, it is 1. Because 2 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 1 is 3. So it is one, two, three. So we have P, D, and F state of an atom. Similarly, when L dash is two, L three is equal to two, we have zero to four. That is zero, one, two, three, four. This is S, P, D, F, G. So this is one S state, one P state, one D state, one F state, one G state. But the total, when there are, when there is a, when you analyze a spectra, there is a possibility that the energy levels can have transitions between all these states following the selection rule. And we have here total, we have here then in all in total, we have one S state, two P states, three D states, two F states, one G state. These are all for different values of L, this. 1 with 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9 possible values of L are there. So L has a degeneracy, this is different by 9 different values, as in the case of spin. Here was singlet, triplet, then we have quartet, then when quintet, and it depends upon the number of electrons, how many electrons we have. Similarly, in case of L, we have different possible values of the L. And the state of largest L is lowest energy. Is of lowest energy. What does that mean? As we discussed in case of spin moments, same we can do in the orbital magnetic moment. And we know that if we consider two electron in a Bohr orbit, in a Bohr atom, if we consider two electrons, for example, this is an orbit, and we have one electron here, one electron here. For example, this is L, okay, for case of one electron. Since there is a Coulomb repulsion, like we have a spin-spin interaction, because of the spin magnetic moment because of the charge of the electron we have a coulomb repulsion so if one electron is here we bring another electron close to this but because of the coulomb repulsion it will be moved further from it like in case of spin spin interactions so that means when the two electrons stay at opposite ends so it will move away from this electron it can go up to maximum up to this at this end So the electrostatic energy between the two electrons will be minimum when they are the opposite ends of this orbit or opposite ends of the diameter. That is maximum distance apart. 
in the same way the two electrons are here okay they have net charge that is net orbital angular momentum because when they are close it will be minimum so that is how we say that highest l will have lowest energy because at this case when they are in the same direction their l will be like this l will be like this okay since charge is electron is opposite so their charges are opposite so if they are repelled from one another so their this will have negative charge this will have negative charge so l will be actually minimum because they are far away the magnitude of the total angular momentum at this state of lowest energy will be maximum and electrons will be moving in the same direction about the nucleus then their orbital angular momentum vectors are parallel now what is the total angular momentum of an electron when we know that the, when we know the spin and the orbital angular momentum the total angular momentum j will be l plus s and this l will be equal to summation of li s will be equal to summation of si so j will be equal to l minus s and to l plus s so it depends j will be then integral or half integral depending upon s whether it is integral or half integral i will just give an example for ls coupling we will do the jj coupling tomorrow actually because it is you know, network is not that good if we have n1 equal to 6 l1 equal to 3 s1 equal to half n2 equal to 5 l2 equal to 1 s2 equal to 1 by 2 assume ls coupling find the possible values of l and consists of j find possible values of l and j so you have to find the possible values of l and j here just remove this line whoever has drawn just remove this now if you want to write this electron how will we write it it is 6d 1 l is 3 this is 5 l2 is 1 that is p 5 p1 both the cases s is 1 by 2 now there is no perturbation now as of this but when we incorporate those spin spin interaction residual coulomb interaction we will have ls coupling because of that ls coupling we will have the splitting of the energy levels what are the possible uh, states for an electron among those levels that is what we determine actually that means there are num these number of levels uh, these are allowed values for that those electrons two electrons that means electrons can be these two states they can be in these two states they can be in these two states they can be in these two among this value among this case so if you want to find the value of j using ls coupling how will you do now we know that j is equal to l plus s l is equal to l1 plus l2 to l1 minus l2 to l minus s s is equal to s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 or first we will write minus then we will go towards plus
so it means that let us take first for the case of l1 is equal to 3 l2 is equal to 1 therefore l will be equal to l1 minus l2 l1 minus l2 plus 1 l1 minus l2 plus 2 up to l1 plus l2 this is what we do as well 2 to 4 yeah it is 2 to 4 that means 2 3 4 again now s is 1 by 2 s2 is 1 by 2 what will be the possibilities s will be s1 minus s2 to s1 plus s2 that is 0 and 1 so the j will be l minus s to l plus s so we have when remember that for s equal to 0 l equal to 2 3 4 for s equal to 1 l equal to 2 3 4 this is how we take the combinations and this so this is the case this is why how we should take the combinations so it gives us j is equal to l plus s so that is 2 3 plus 0 is 3 4 plus 0 is 4 again if you mind subtract them they will be same okay now coming to this so j will be equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 4 minus 1 is 3 now 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 these are two separate combinations corresponding to a particular state so we have j then equal to 1 2 3 3 4 5 and 2 3 4 these are the different possible combinations of j corresponding to two electrons which are in the uh, this d yeah, it's here. Dekho. Yeah, dekho. Sir, if we do zero with the same state, then it will be different state. Look, look. This I have done, right? Look, zero and L equal to two, three, four. Okay? Here, okay? Yes, sir. Is it okay? S yes, equal sir. to zero. Yes, L sir. equal to two, three, four. Now do it. So it is S plus minus L to S plus L. Is it? L plus yes, S two. Yeah, L minus L because we are taking the magnitude, so it will not make a difference. So, two minus have, one. Just two, three. Oh, there's four. I got two, three, four. Four. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, this is simple. Yes, it is for the case of zero. So, this is how we in LS coupling we calculate the value of the J and you will use this coupling then draw the energy level diagram so we will uh, study that in case of uh, this when we study the spectral terms and then we write the transition level diagram electric energy level diagram okay i think this will be enough for today try more examples at home uh, i will give you one let me give you the one uh, do it for three D four S electron. Okay. Use LS coupling. Okay, for this electron at least do and four P one also. Three electrons are there. Okay, sir. Okay, I'm leaving the meeting.